Ready. Ooh, whoa, whoa, Mason, no, no, no. You want to try to jump that, Luke? Not now. You don't know? Uh, I said not now. What do you mean, not now? A little bit later. A little bit later? That's like the smallest deadly jump ever. It's like they were like, let's build a really small jump that you can get really messed up on if you don't make it. That's what we need to build. Okay, good. I didn't die on the world's deadliest mini jump. I bet someone has. I bet someone's got really messed up on that before. Oh, get it, Mason. Woo, 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 woo. I kind of like this park. It's got a lot of like little fun ledges and gaps to jump off of. A little heavy on the skateboards though, but that's all right. Maybe that would be a better park for you guys. I don't like it. Maybe that park would be more your style. What do you think? It's got a tire swing. It's, I know you don't like it. That's what I'm saying. We can try that one over there. You can play tic-tac-toe. The blue slide's a little big, but luckily there's a little pink one. Do you want to do that one, Luke? I'm just giving the boys a hard time because we went to this skate park over here. Where are we? We're on, uh, not Foster. What is the name of this road? Anyways, we're at the skate park in Portland. We're just trying it for the first time and apparently the boys don't like it They said there's not very much for them to do there Man, I'm bummed you guys didn't like that skate park. Yeah, have some cool it little sucked. stuff What are you talking about man? You know how stoked I would be to be able to ride there when I was a kid You're like that my time. If I could have had a place like that to ride when I was a kid, I would have loved it I'd yeah, be there all day after school. That's because the places you went to were trash. Because the places I rode were were church parking lots and loading docks and uh, dirt fields. That's where I went. You guys are lucky. Once you get better, Luke, once you're able to bunny hop, once you're able to do like 180s and bar spins, you'll have a lot more fun. Forgive him, viewers. He knows not what he says. Don't thumbs down this video just because of Luke's attitude, please. kids weren't feeling it at the last park, so we're gonna go try something else. See if this one suits their style any better, okay? That's a steep bowl down there. <laughs> it's like one of the steepest drop-ins. Okay, it looks gonna try to fly out right here. I'm gonna set up the camera somewhere. Hold on. Here, Mason, you video, bud. This is a fail! Yeah! Ah! Can you hold the camera? My arm's getting a bit tired. Nice. I think you may have not needed me. What do you think? Can I try it again? Okay, try it again. Mason, you good, bro? Pump, pedal fast, lean forward. Yeah! Oh! Yeah, I'm fine. You good? You good, bro? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. All right. Is your board all right? Yeah, I thought he was going straight. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like school's getting out. Okay, see you, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. That could have been real bad, bro. Whatever you do, don't fall backwards into that bowl there. Yeah, that, that one would be good. <laughs> yeah. I tried really hard not to. Thanks I for. My hands forward to like. <laughs> Mason, are you doing your yoga stretches? No? I don't even have that. Oh, you don't have, you don't have yoga stretches? Mason, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get going, bud. All right, so what do you guys think? Which one did you like better? Which, which skate park? The last one. The last one? That one. 
it was lit. Yeah, I admit, I think that one was a little bit better, had some more to offer. The other one I like too, there's some stuff I wanna go back and try. I'll probably go without you guys though. So I don't have to hear you complain the whole time, but you may have noticed that I wasn't wearing a helmet today. And that's not because I'm a bad example. That's because I took it out of the El Camino, put it in the garage. I forgot about that. I forgot that I put it in the garage. The reason I put it in the garage is we're gonna do a little science experiment. We're gonna cut it open. We're gonna cut the helmet in half. What? We're gonna what cut it. We're gonna cut it open and see what's living inside. I've had the same helmet for about 10 years. It's okay, I think it's a little heavier. It's probably not as good as the newer ones. It's probably not as light as the newer ones. And they say that when a helmet gets old, it starts to deteriorate and the structure inside is not as strong. So I think it's a good time to retire my helmet and get a new one. They also say that if you crash and you hit your head, you have to throw your helmet away and you have to get a new one because that impact will damage the structural integrity of the helmet. So if you hit your head in the same spot, again, it won't protect it as well. So I don't know for sure if that's 100% uh, true or just something the salespeople at the dirt bike shop always tell you. So we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna simulate a crash. Mason's gonna be our little test dummy. We're gonna simulate a crash and then we're gonna, cause you're lucky. Cause you're the lucky one. Okay, see if you can jump over that without knocking it down. Here, let's do it, do it this way first. This is how I learned how to bunny hop when I was a kid. Just get out here and practice for like a half an hour every day, Luke, that was good. Like before you do anything, before you do your chores, before you do your homework, come out here and practice bunny hopping. Nice, there you go. See what I would do when I was a kid is I learned by jumping over that and then I tried to do it this way and then I stacked another one on top and then another one and eventually I was able to jump over three of them. But this is the most basic, important trick to learn. See, like learning to bunny hop is like when you get your license, when you turn 16. When you get your license, you have freedom. You could go anywhere. You can stay out as late as you want. There's so much freedom that you experience once you turn 16 and you get your license. It's the same way with learning how to bunny hop. Once you learn how to bunny hop, then you can start working on gaps and bar spins and 180s, all these things that you couldn't do until once you learn how to bunny hop. Okay. So keep at it, Luke. You'll have a lot more fun at the skate park once you learn how to do tricks. We're gonna go ahead and do this now. We're gonna cut open this helmet, but first we gotta simulate a crash. So Mason, hey Mason, 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 come on. I'm waiting. I was gonna either put it on his head and then hit him with a bat or make him run into a brick wall or something, but I don't want anybody to think I'm willing to endanger my son's life. So we're just gonna have him throw it off the roof instead. You can throw it kind of high if you want. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. A bit of damage. <laughs> that came off. Well, we don't need that anymore. You wanna do it again, Mason? Okay, ready to go. Where did it land? Um, the inside broke. Should we let Luke have a turn? One more. No, Mason. <laughs> one more. Okay, one, one more. Okay, one more. Ooh. That was a good one. That probably would have caused some damage. This helmet's actually holding up pretty good. I'm not seeing a lot of exterior. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! <laughs> Mason, Nathan, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a pinata, Mason. It appears actually that the exterior of the helmet is holding up pretty good, but I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't want to have my head in there because it is messed up on the inside. All right, last one, Luke. Let's see what you can do, buddy. Ready? Ready. Ooh, whoa, whoa, Mason, no, no, no. 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 Oh my gosh, dude. Mason, what in the world were you doing? Man, this poor thing. This thing has taken a bigger beating in the last five minutes than it has in the past 10 years. 
All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut into the helmet to see how the interior structure was affected by the impact. Our tip of the day is to remember you only wanna cut things open if you know what you're doing or if you're a professional YouTuber. And we're not either of those, so it could be interesting. Come stand like right here, Luke. All right guys, well what do you know, the SD card filled up and stopped recording right in the climax of cutting it open and uh, the big reveal, I turn over, camera's not even running. Man, I'm sorry, that sucks. But anyways, this is what it looks like. That's what the inside of a helmet, what is that? Customer, batch number, product date. What is the product date? 09 maybe? I'm not sure what that says. So anyway, so that's probably about a 10 year old helmet. And then here is the shell. Let's look and see. Ooh, it looks like there is a, a crack right here. I don't think that was supposed to be there. Actually, if you put it together, maybe that crack was supposed to be there. Maybe that's where like the top and bottom came together. Mason, can you see where any of the damage is from where it had the impact? It looks like some scratches up here. Yeah, some scratches. Anything else? It's hard to tell, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, was that from the fall? Who knows? It's hard to tell. That from the fall. <laughs> that from the fall. I was hoping we would cut it open and there would be obvious dents or like spider web cracks or something um, an, an impact, but honestly, I guess we can't really tell so Pretty strong so anyways, I guess the only thing we learned from this is that Now I got to go buy a new helmet Try to go up more. Like, not like that.